Hey guys, welcome to my Pashpika. Welcome to the channel where we talk a lot about feminine energy, self-improvement topics, manifestation, relationship stuff. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the art of being is more powerful than art of becoming. Now, maybe this is a new terminology that I'm using or maybe you have heard about it. But I'm going to explain what I really mean. Let's dive in. Give this video a big thumbs up. Do consider subscribing for more such videos. We, you can grab the female self-care planner if you're interested. The link is in description. It's a PDF download. Okay. <clears throat> and so what I mean when I say art of becoming and art of being. Art of becoming is like you are trying to become somebody to achieve something in your life or to attract a partner or to get something. Okay. So I've seen the people working on art of becoming like going to the court, joining courses, going to the events, workshops and different parties or going through the healing sessions, spirituality sessions and like they have been working on themselves for years, maybe a decade or more than that. And life is a journey, so it's normal. The second state is the art of being. When you truly go into that version that I am right now, who am I based on what I want right now? when is the process once you take it as a process okay i want to make one million dollar in my business okay so you started the business and you are in the process of becoming that business and it can take you five years ten years eleven years i don't know it's going to take you forever or one month or two days whatever but art of being is like you accept or you commit to that version right now who already have the desire because i've already talked about a lot about the parallel realities you being the multi-dimensional i am also multi-dimensional so we have different dimensions we have different versions of us we have different realities and there are so many realities you can watch the shows like there are some shows on this i don't really remember it right now but there is one popular netflix show which actually showed the parallel reality in I'm forgetting its name right now guys if you can understand that that was one person in the show it's actually a Netflix show and uh, he actually uh, was in the different parallel reality and then he got confused and then he chooses one and then he comes out I don't really remember the name if I remember the name I'm gonna put in the comments or in the description but if you know the name of this show it's, it's I think it's a new show it's not that old but let me know in the comments if you know about it but anyways the point is that we are um, we have so many realities so many versions so you can choose the version of you right now who is already living that version or already living that reality that you want to be who already have the partner money business everything that you want or you can choose a version of you who is in the process of becoming becoming who is not there yet who is not almost there not quite there like i just want to be that or i'm on the process of becoming and that's the thing and one beauty about here is the law of attraction. So when you say that I'm on the art of becoming, you're talking from the lack, okay? I'm not there yet. I'm not that person yet. You are talking from the state of the lack when you say that I wanna become that person or I'm in the process of becoming, right? So law of attraction will going to give you more state of the lack because you're acting out from the state of the lack. When you are being, you're like, I am that person right now. You're talking from the confidence, you're talking from the abundance, and that's where the law of attraction will going to give you more things that actually help you being in that state, that actually help you being more confident, being more abundance, that show you that you are even more abundance, even more powerful. So what are you gonna choose? You gotta choose art of becoming or you gotta choose art of being. The choice is yours. In the beginning when I started with the manifestation and spirituality, I was focusing on art of becoming because I've heard a lot of people talk about do affirmation, visualization, techniques, healing, yoga, spirituality, meditation, like there's so much. And that's all amazing, that's all helpful. But then it's a lot of the process, it's a lot of the work to do that. And it's a never ending process, that's what I can say based on my experience. Because when you work on one thing, the law of attraction comes and give you another thing. Then you work on that, another, 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 so on and so forth. It's like an every process. So do you want to wait to get the things that you want for 10 years, 5 years, 6 years, 2 months, 3 months? Do you want to wait? Or do you want to be that version right now? Because everything is you reflected out or everything is you pushed out. Everything is a bit of reflection of you, whatever you want to use over here. 
but that's the truth we create our own reality so do you want to choose our version right now by state of being by being in the state of wish fulfilled do you want to be in that state right now or you want to be in the process of becoming that person or becoming that state or achieving that state someday i don't know how long it's going to take the choice is yours and i find that art of becoming is taking you a long time and i've seen the people working on themselves their childhood traumas the limiting beliefs for years for decades and i was like how long do you need to wait or work on that come on everybody goes through some childhood traumas it's totally normal and that doesn't mean you are good or wrong or bad or right no no everything goes through something or the other we all have something going inside of us when we were child that's totally normal so do you need 10 years or 5 years to work on that really are you going to waste 5 years of your life doing that i'm not telling it's wasting i think wasting the word is quite strong over here but do you want to spend 5 years or 10 years of your life or i don't know two months three months whatever to uh heal from that particular thing only to realize that once you heal from that the life will going to show you another thing to heal because of the law of attraction or you are you are like okay the past doesn't exist past doesn't exist future doesn't exist because future is not here yet it past is only there in your mind it's not there anywhere it's just an illusion the only thing you have is the present moment the power is in the present moment so in this present moment whether i choose to work on my past or i choose to be in the state of the being right now i choose that i person that right now who already has those things that i want the choice is that so when you choose is that that i want to be in the state of the being when you focus on art of being the state of art of becoming that's where the things happen so fast and it's kind of like a short card but it truly works i've seen that personally for me when i'm like i am this person exactly right now and things happens like i attracted my partner with a two days or me breaking up with my ex and peak up with that state of being that i already have the true relationship and i attracted that partner and i didn't done anything external i didn't went to the bar or meet other people or do any kind of stuff that people say to do to actually start dating other people i didn't done anything it just come to me i see him in the store and i just went to the store to buy a crossie that's it and i went to the store and that's where our communication begins that's where everything begins so what do you want to choose right now you want to be cup that person or you want to be that person right now because everybody is a god creator of their reality you are the universe i am the universe so do universe needs to pick up somebody or do universe is already be it's what you believe it will going to be your reality you can work on all that stuff and do all those methods and strategies if you like it and if you enjoy it go and do that i'm not telling you not to do that but the choice is the yours do you want to be that person right now or you want to work on yourself for years and then you want to be that person or you want to be the process of becoming it's your choice but for personally i've seen art of being is more powerful than art of becoming because art of becoming it puts me in the state of the lack because i'm not that person yet i don't have that takes and i'm in the state of the lack and that lack attracts even more lack actually by the law of attraction and nobody is exception to that even if you don't want to believe in it it's your choice but that's the truth but when i'm in the state of the being i'm the state of abundance i'm that person right now who already have that thing i'm acting from the abundance i'm all acting from the state where i already have those things and then the law of attraction actually give me the physical proof or the evidence or the validation of the 3d reality because i'm acting from the state of the abundance and that attract more abundance where there's a body relationship car house whatever it doesn't really matter okay big or small so that's what i want to emphasize about the state of the being let me know what you think what your thoughts about it do you think that state of being is more powerful or state of becoming is more powerful because i personally believe that state of being is more powerful and anybody can do that you don't need years of experience in spirituality or anything like that even if you don't even know a single word about the spirituality you can stay still be in the state of the being because we already all have gifted with the ability to create our own reality So it's your choice. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you the next time. Till then, take care. Bye, guys.